Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I was uh, recording the review of this lens, this 7 Artisan uh, 9mm full frame, and I was uh, having like uh, some thoughts about uh, what we call Chinese lenses and uh, the quality. Some people speak about it as uh, lesser quality, other people th said Chinese as a geographical origin, which is logical, others because of the price they have. There are many opinions, so I wanted to speak about this, uh, the evolution of the lenses they offer and uh, my opinion, if it's worth it, not worth it, all this. So let's start. About 50 or 60 years ago, when Japanese car uh, started to, to go all over the world, what people were saying about Japanese car was uh, the quality was no good. The price was brilliant, but quality was no good, okay? And over the, the years and uh, yeah, yeah, about several decades, everything has changed. Now, no one or very few people are telling that Japanese cars are bad cars, okay? They probably think that they're not as cheap as they were. Quality is a lot better than it was. And now, speaking about Japanese car sounds not bad at all. It sounds even good. Uh, many people buy a good Japanese car and they're happy with it, okay? I think with Chinese gear, this is happening exactly the same way. Many people speak about Chinese lenses in a despective way, but yeah, just Chinese. But they forget one thing. In China, they build everything from really cheap with bad, well, really lower quality to really high-end quality with really top prices. So we cannot say that anymore. They make everything there from top to bottom or from bottom to top, okay? And probably at home, you have some devices, some gear, uh, I don't speak about photography gear, any gear that has um, a brand that is not from China, but if you investigate, part of the uh, device is made in China, China or uh, assembled in China, or uh, most part are made in China, and you're happy with this brand, although it's right that it's a uh, well, US brand or, or whatever from, or a German brand or French brand, whatever, but really everything there is from China. So it's time to change the chip in your head. Start to think that it's not because it's Chinese, it's Chinese that it is bad quality. It may be, but it may also be really good. So we're going to speak about this how uh, the quality of uh, their lenses has been changing over time, okay? Well, the first lenses from China we're getting were optically not perfect. Yes, uh, maybe distortion, vignetting, uh, sharpness in the corner was not really there, okay? But what most people agree on is that the build quality was really good. Um, fully metal, uh, if you had click, you had clear clicks. If it was with uh, clickless, then it was really smooth. Same thing with uh, focusing ring, things like this, and the build was really good. So nice in hand, uh, it, uh, you trust the lens, but obviously we speak about photography. If I've got a really nice lens in my hand, but the image quality is really bad, then that's not good, okay? But still, this uh, build quality seduced many people. And many people were like, uh, overlooking uh, Chinese lenses started to say okay let's try that and for really affordable prices they started to mount um, Chinese lens on their camera and many were surprised that maybe it was not the top quality but uh, if you compare a 250 euros uh, lens to a 3000 euro Leica lens they are not 10 times uh, uh, quality difference uh, the German uh, lens is maybe better, but not 10 times better. And this is when some people started to think that uh, they should try, they should test, they should use. It was more affordable, and for many people it opened other possibilities. But at the same time, Chinese lenses have bettered a lot, okay? But actually, uh, this uh, way of uh, looking overlooking a brand is not new when uh, sony started to make cameras 
many uh, photographers uh, looked at it as a toy. For them, it was a Walkman or a black, uh, black uh, Trinitron TV, and they would not uh, take serious, uh, seriously Sony. Sony did not bother with that. They went to their market, a young market, people who had a PlayStation, people who had fun with Sony devices, and they would not care if it was Nikon or uh, Canon, and they would try. And all the people who had uh, looked, uh, put aside the Sony option started to think, yeah, we should look at it again. And they realized that Sony cameras are really good cameras. And they started to think different. And nowadays we think this again with uh, Chinese lenses. People were looking in a bad way over uh, Chinese lenses. Now they start to consider trying them or buying them, okay? And this is... Uh, something new and i think it's important to realize that quality at the same time has bettered a lot chinese are clever they did not bother to create new optical uh, formula when they started uh, invading the world with lenses that's worth speaking okay no don't get offended okay and they used form optical formulas that proved really good and the patent were uh, expired okay so they could quickly create lenses without too much investigation. Uh, they could uh, build metally quickly uh, new things and uh, get to the world and get their brand to be known, whether Seven Artisan, TT Artisan, uh, Viltrox, Maker, Siri, all in Pergia, there are many brands, okay? And many people started to use their lenses and try them for really affordable prices. And very often people were saying, as it was, uh, yeah, all the optical formula, most of them were not really adapted for the digital cameras. So sometimes it vignettes a bit or it's not as sharp in the corner, all this. But still, then you say it's, uh, this lens has character. Uh, it's a way to justify that you spend only $100 instead of $1,000. It's worth saying, I don't need this expensive uh, lens that, uh, that is the same brand as my camera. Actually, you would love to have it, but you cannot afford it. Okay, so it's a good way to, say, to, to tell it. I must say, uh, it's incredible that many uh, lenses are working so well, because normally if you use uh, Canon, uh, Nikon or any brand, okay, when they have their own lenses, they apply correction, in-body correction. And these uh, manual lenses, full metal lenses, Chinese lenses, they don't have any communication most of the time with your camera, so they cannot correct anything. It needs to be good. So in the same time, uh, as they started with older formulas, they started to work on new formulas, new things, okay? And they got better and better. And now you see more and more Chinese lenses that give really good results, really good results, okay? And this is, when you realize that uh, many people feel it's completely okay to have a Chinese uh, lens on their body. But what's the problem? All these lenses were manual lenses, manual focus. But many people, they need autofocus. So now we are seeing a new wave of uh, lenses arriving to the, out of China, to the rest of the world. And they now offer autofocus. So we're going to speak about this and see if they can keep the same quality, higher quality, get better than what we have on, uh, from, uh, uh, yes, restricted Germany, uh, South Korea and Japan, okay? What do they do right now? Let's speak about the autofocus lenses. Very often we hear people who have been doing uh, photography for many years and say, yeah, but uh, lens build is not as good now as before. Before you had a really a block of metal and now you feel more plastic, lighter. It's, you don't trust it the same way. I don't speak about Chinese lenses, I speak about Nikon, Canon, well, the famous brands, okay? Famous or more famous brands, okay? And there is a reason for that. Creating a 100% metal lens, it's not easy, but it's easy to focus because it's your hands, your your strength okay but when I want to do autofocus I need to put autofocus motors in there and to move uh, this is a lot harder than with your hand it's a lot more complicated uh, you need uh, strength in the motors uh, you don't want to consume all the battery either okay that means all these brands had to make lighter 
uh, lenses, uh, use material that didn't look as solid, all this to be able to have a precise and fast autofocus with motors that were able to move them, okay? From the second you put electronic in a lens, you also have the risk of uh, burning it, uh, to have an electronic failure, and that's a big problem. Will these new Chinese autofocus lenses last forever? We cannot say, we don't know. We cannot plan 10 years ahead, okay, or 20 years ahead. When we see that the Canon 24 to 105 millimeter first version had many problems just after guarantee waived, uh, yeah, uh, you have the nap in there and the, the, the electronic part uh, get problem. It's really costly to change. Well, if you do it yourself, it's very affordable, like 30 euros. But if you send it to a Canon uh, technical service, it costs about 450 to fix it. If it happens to Canon, it could perfectly happen to any of these Chinese lenses. We don't know that, okay? But still, we can evaluate the quality of uh, the build. Will they keep having this incredible build? Or will they go towards something really plasticky, like uh, the, well, we were speaking about Canon, so the Canon 50mm uh, 1.8, it is really full plastic, okay, except the glass. Will we get there? We need to see that. What can we expect from Chinese company regarding autofocus lenses? Well, here you have two clans, the plastic fantastic clan and the metal clan, okay? Same as we have with uh, all brands. So if you look at plastic, plastic was same as the Yongwo uh, 50mm 1.8, for example, which is really similar to the Canon 50mm 1.8. It's not new brand, uh, it's not new uh, lens, it's old already, okay? But this is really plasticky and uh, really not fast autofocus, all this. But these Chinese brands have been uh, getting better and better. We still have two clans, the plastic and the metal one, okay? If we look at plastic, this is a really nice lens. I cannot tell you the brand. Actually, the brand is not even written on it, okay? Uh, because I will present it at the end of October, I think. It's a 30 mm, 35 mm 1.8. This is plastic, but it's good quality. Autofocus is fine. It goes well. That's nice, okay? So, although it's plastic, I do see some quality here. And then if we go back to Yongwo again, here, this is a 50 mm 1.8. It exists for several uh, mounts. This is for Fujifilm. This is metal. This is metal. It looks like, yeah, these good uh, high-end uh, lenses, like you have uh, the L lens, uh, uh, the L uh, line by Canon or the G Master by uh, Sony. But the build looks really good. Here you even have a small screen in there to give you if it's on auto, if you, uh, what is the aperture, all this. So you realize that we don't know or they will go when they get older, okay? But we can say that, yes, yes, they're not going full plastic, all of them. Uh, yes, they are doing some good quality autofocus lenses also, if we speak about the build. I can tell you this one, the autofocus is really good and the optical looks good. Uh, the optics looks good also, okay? So yes, I think we are in a real war. Uh, this classical brand, they should worry. Because, yeah, Chinese brands now are getting into there with their autofocus lenses, bringing good quality uh, build side and optical side. We'll see, but that's not bad. They're not bad either. OK, so, yes, this is for them to worry a bit because we see that we're getting alternative lenses from China with autofocus that works. The problem with autofocus lenses is that you need some communication with the camera body. There are two ways. The authorized way, so the camera brand has authorized such or such uh, lens maker to create lenses and communicate with the body. They give them access to the information they need to make it work all day. So you don't have to worry. Sometimes you can even uh, update the firmware from the camera. That's great. Okay. But what happens if they're not authorized? Well, they have to do a uh, reverse engineering create a firmware for the lens that will work on the camera and you have the risk that one day they change something in the camera firmware and your lens stops working. It actually happened with Sigma several times with different cameras and they stopped working. But now this has been solved because now directly on the lenses, autofocus lenses, they put a USB-C connector or they have a base with a connector in there. So you actually uh, put the, the, the cap, the backpack cap, and you put a USB-C there 
and you can actually update the firmware of the lens. It means if there is a new camera that comes out and you want to use your lens on it, it's not really compatible. You can actually download the firmware, update the firmware of your lens and off you go. So this uh, could be a legal problem with the camera brand, but for you, that means your uh, investment will keep, or your purchase will keep being usable for many years because uh, they update the firmware. So this, what could have been a big problem, now is not really a problem. So that's good news. If you decide to go for one of these lenses, know that you will be able to update the firmware. So for future cameras or any firmware change in the camera you already have will be upgradable uh, on the lens to keep uh, being compatible. So that's good news. What's also interesting is that we're seeing the Chinese brand making uh, new things using different materials like uh, carbon fiber, ceramic. I cannot tell the, the brand because I was informed yesterday and uh, I hope to receive the lens, okay? But one is starting to do, uh, use ceramic for the lenses. And you see that they're investigating new things, not just to move uh, with the autofocus motor, faster, or easier, but also for the weight in your bag, but also uh, for uh, the weight on a gimbal, all this. Now, this Chinese brand, they're not just using something that already exists and uh, put it in their way. They investigate and come up with new things that other classical brands are not doing. So it's time to worry for them, okay? These Chinese guys are not just copying. They're bettering, they're innovating, they're doing something, uh, many things that are new, okay? So yeah, that's really, really interesting. While uh, these brands, Chinese brand, are not recognized as top brands or great brands, most people will buy for a price reason, because they're affordable, they're cheap or whatever. But still, this is changing. We start to see that there are more and more lenses that are more expensive than before, we are not just looking now at lenses that cost like 50 euros or 100 euros or 150. We see things that cost 500, 600, 700, 1000 euros. Yes, yeah, still cheaper than its equivalent in the original brand, okay, the, the camera brand. But still, they are not the cheapy as it was before. And that's a problem uh, for me now, for you either, neither, okay. But it is probably a problem for uh, the, the your camera brands because more and more some people will pick one of these brands not because it's cheap, because they don't even they will not bother about the price because it's good or better. And we're getting there. We're getting there. The quality is better and better, and they will be less and less cheap. And this is where the Chinese lenses are winning the market. So this is really great situation really interesting what uh, will give us uh, the future well honestly we don't know i hope they will keep having these entry-level lenses fully manual lenses so people with a really low budget with a second-hand uh, digital camera they could have this fully manual lens and play with it and make great picture with it and use it but also i'm happy that there is some new uh, high-end uh, gear on the Chinese uh, brand uh, market. Why? Because uh, it gives us an alternative. Up to now, the alternative was really uh, Tamron or Sigma, uh, maybe a few more, but not that many, okay? But now, uh, we're looking at uh, really uh, new options uh, that really helps us uh, in two ways. First, I have more to choose from, okay? And second, that oblige our favorite brands to uh, work better on their prices, on their quality, all this. Competition is good. So when I hear someone who says, I will never buy a Chinese lens, well, yeah, maybe, but you could be happy about the presence of this lens because thanks to it, your favorite brand has probably to lower prices or make a better product and you benefit from it also, although you don't buy the Chinese lens. So this competition is welcome. So we'll see what the future will tell, but I'm so happy there are more alternatives and more possibilities. This is a special message for haters. That's really funny, but if I present a lens of your favorite brands, then for you it's a review. And if I present a Chinese brand, that for many of them, uh, they feel that it's an online uh, TV uh, shop or whatever, and it's just advertisement, just promotion, and that's not fair. 
that's not fair because when I present this lens or whatever Chinese lens or uh, alternative brand, I'm not getting paid either. And uh, I show it because there are many people who want to know about these alternative uh, products. I speak about lenses right now, but it could be any other product. Okay, so if you feel it's not a product for you, that's your right, but it's not your right to decide then that it's advertisement. No, a review is a review, it doesn't matter the product I'm presenting. And actually, if I'm presenting a product uh, and I'm getting paid, YouTube obliges me to tell it. So if I don't say anything, I'm not getting paid, okay? That's simple, okay? But for me, this is important to present these products too because many people have a tight budget and they need to know alternative possibilities that fit in the budget or uh, doesn't mean it's really cheap, but yeah, if we speak about your uh, camera bag, maybe you have three lenses, one of them you use 80% of the time and two of them you use 10 and 10%. For this lens, you will use like five to 10 times a year. Don't you think it's a good idea to have a lens that costs you a tenth of the price, a quarter of the price? Maybe that's a good idea, okay? So honestly, um, I would say that uh, showing these uh, lenses gives many opportunities to many people. So that's why, that's why I will keep presenting lenses of alternative brands, it's Chinese right now, but it could be any from any country, okay? But I think it's important to show them and because many people want to know about them, okay? So honestly, I will keep using Chinese lenses aside of my uh, camera brand lenses because I think they're interesting. Uh, the quality is very often really good and prices is fair or really good, okay? Some people tell me and they're right in this way. I prefer to buy uh, the same brand as my camera because they, they, they apply in-body uh, electronic correction. So they're right in this way, but you could also have the same corrections in your computer. Take into account that there are some uh, software like uh, DxO or Topaz that can apply correction to your Chinese lens, okay? And uh, correct uh, aberration or strange things and sharpening, all this. And you could probably save a lot of money. Obviously you need to buy the plugin, but still you save a lot of money. So uh, don't forget this. Uh, if you uh, want to save money and want to buy an affordable lens, you can still apply some uh, correction in your computer and get good quality. That's not bad, is it? So that's it. I would like to have your opinion about these lenses, the future and everything. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you feel it man, trust other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The small button down here is a small bell. If you click on the bell, you will get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. Also leave your links of my on Amazon, links of everything I've reviewed by KF Concepts and more flashes by Westcott, more affiliated links, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.